Friday at Pizza Flicks. A jaded gunfighter, a wheelchair-bound villain, and a trio of hired killers who will be the fastest gun in the town called Purgatory. Shot in CinemaScope under the direction of Walter J. Hall Jr., this offbeat western stars James Craig, Edgar Buchanan, Brett Halsey, and the tragic Martha Vickers in her last big screen role. This man came along the trail one Sunday morning in 73, taking it slow and easy, keeping his eyes open and his gun hand ready. He came from nowhere, I guess. Anyhow, he never said from where. We never asked. He was going to stop off in purgatory, make his stand, like he lived, alone. This is number one. He called himself Saban. Following me? Depends on where you're going. I'm leaving Kansas, like you said, town tamer. You didn't leave it very fast. I ride slow. Don't stop off in purgatory. My next job's to clean that town up. I'll ride through. Ride around it. You're kind of pushing, ain't you? Stay clear of purgatory. Remember that. I forgot already. Saving! I may as well start cleaning that town over right now. Get down. This side. I was never sure about you. Now I'm gonna make sure. Now hold up your gun hand. Hold it up, palm facing me. I said, lift that gun hand. say what we need in purgatory is a preacher, not a town tamer. Right. Oh, right. Right. Thank you, ma'am. Right. Come on, Bill, you promised fifty dollars. Thank you. Good old Thank Bill, put in. Come on, folks, who else pledged now? Thank you. Is 
that the man we sent for? Are you the town tamer? It depends. He ain't the town tamer. You name Haggerty? No. Where is Haggerty? Uh, he couldn't make it. Did Haggerty send you? As a matter of fact, he did. From where? All the way from Kansas. What's that? It's your pay, mister. If you're the man that's taking Haggerty's place. As far as I'm concerned, I'll settle for any good man with a gun. How much money in that hat? We pledged $500. What's your name, mister? Sabin. All right, Mr. Sabin, we'll give you a try. I... I don't know. Scared? Where would I start? You'll find him at the Babylon Saloon. His name is Hope. He runs things here. All that money for taming one man? No, half a man. But you may not live to spend the money. Hold it. We don't know this man. All right, if we hold the money for you until uh, after you clean up the mess. When you're ready to part with it, you can wrap it up and send it to a woman. Your wife? No, just a woman. Mrs. J. Casavetes in Santa Fe. Write that name down, Casavetes. You can use the old marshal's office across from the Babylon. I'm expecting a shipment from Mr. Holmes. It came. Yeah, it better not be broke, not here. We don't never break anything. from Europe. She's the most beautiful woman ever lived. Sure covers a lot of women. Yeah, I guess it does. It's my wife, Mary Hogue. You must be the man. My name's Sabin. Well, what can I do for you, Mr. Sabin? Well, the town has hired me to set things in order. Well, uh... You must be new at it. Sort of. One thing you should know, I aim to collect my money. Move on. Bob? Wipe the dust off her and then go get Grady. Money already. What's all the rockies? 
Who are you? What'd you knock? This is a jail, isn't it? My home. Took over when the last marshal quit. Green? No, thanks. Stuff sure tastes good. You been in purgatory long? Longer in the mountains. I don't want to talk to you. State your business. <laughs> well, the folks down the street told me this. Uh... You're the fellow they sent for a town tamer. Stephen, you haven't got a chance against Hope. What do you want to talk to me about, Mr. Town Tamer? Well, I thought maybe you'd like to rent me one of your rooms. <laughs> it's kind of nice having a roof over your head, ain't it? I understand. You've been sleeping out in the forest for a long time. You can move into my jailhouse. <laughs> well, thanks. They call me Dipper. Forget my real name. Well, Dipper, what do you know about Hulk and his wife? Everything. Everything. Thanks. Well, one thing he runs the battle on. <laughs> I uh, want to warn you not to interrupt my husband when he's playing my favorite tune. Is that all you want? What else could I want? I thought you might want to warn me about something else. I don't know you. You may deserve what's in store for you. I might. No, Angel. That's lucky. Angels get their wings singed in purgatory. Good evening, Mrs. Ho. Friend of yours this afternoon. Did you? Who was he? A man named Grady. Grady? Yeah, I don't think I've never heard of him. Last night, a couple of ranchers lost their herds. Is that so? Probably just some of the boys letting off a little steam, huh? Let off a little lead, too. One of the ranchers got killed. Saving. Take a look in that mirror there. Now you see all those people? The world is covered with a swarm of them like with a swarm of ants. So what difference does it make if two or three of them get stepped on? Like you? Yeah. Like me. You know any more chords? <laughs> no more. Hey, tell me something. What are your plans for my future? I don't know. I don't guess there's a gunman in the country to shoot you. I guess not. Now, what you ought to do is take a nice long ride for yourself. I've been told that before. I don't like it. Hmm? Well, in that case, you can mail these letters for me on your way out. Naco, Brown, Keanu. Three fastest guns in the territory. You know them? Only by reputation. Send it for them? Could be birthday cards. But you could um, tear up those letters if you wanted to take that ride. That would be tapering with the government mail. Johnny Naco, Keanu, and a man they call Arma Brown. Happy birthday.
Happy birthday. Saban first. This is number two, Quijano. He had one of those letters from Hogue in purgatory. Quijano, why are you come at a time like this? Well, I received a letter from a man. It's in English. You know I don't read English. Read it for me, Juanito. It is from a man named Hogue in the town of purgatory. It says, the town tamer here is of great trouble to me. I am offering $1,000 to the man who kills him. Gracias, señorita. Jano, come back. Jano, come back, I told you. He was riding north after the bounty on Saban's head. Looks like rain, don't it? Good evening, Mrs. Hogue. Could I buy you a drink? Not right now, thanks. What can I do for you? I'd like to see your husband. Sure. Follow me. Evening, darling. I was just reading something that all town tamers ought to read. Gather ye rosebuds while ye may, for old time is flying. And at my back, I always hear death's winged chariot hurrying near. It's uh, original editions. I imported them all from Europe. You like to import things, don't you? I like the best, yeah. I would like to talk to you about exporting something. What should we export? That bartender of yours. Oh, come now, how can you even deal with him? Why, he doesn't even wear a gun. Buy him one. Give it to him for a birthday present. I send him a card. I met a rancher with a broken jaw. Someone had asked him to move. Well, bartender. Good night, Mrs. Hogue. Seven. Call him Mary. Good night, Mary. Sure is nice, isn't it? The rain. Yeah, oh, sure, sure. No, I've been thinking. There's a U.S. Marshal over at Irontown. No, that sleeping dog's lying. Well, maybe we could get him to make out a legal order putting the whole out of business. You asking the law to help you? That's like biting the hand that feeds you. When it stops raining. You ride over to Irontown and see if you can shag on to that marshal. I just hope you don't shag on to me. You come back, you can help me fix the leg on my desk. Your desk? The desk. <clears throat> Dipper, what you looking at? Fanny. Excuse me, ladies. Any 
sign of him? Who'd you expect first? Oh, Keanu, maybe. Hey, anybody home? Sir, what can I do for you? Which way to Purgatory, Sion? Take the main road to the right. Gracias, Sion. Hey, we never met before, but I know you. I think I know you too, Sion. To get to Purgatory, you first come to Iron Town. A man like you ought to ride around to Iron Town. There's a Marshal Becker there. Real fast gun. Uh -huh. Shoots first in Nasa Manana, eh? Something like that. Gracias. You got for Iron Town, Marshal Becker. Now, who is that? Call him Guiano. Morning, Mary. What are you doing in there? Oh, uh, Dipper's just preparing a few things. Anything I can do for you? Well, my husband wants to see you. Oh. How did it happen, you and Hoag? We were on our way to Wichita to be married. The stage went off the road and crashed. Broke his back. And you went through with it? Yes. You don't look like the kind of a woman who'd lead a man into a trap. I'm not. Well, anyhow, ladies first. Salem? Got a man causing disturbance in here. What do you mean to do about it? I want you to keep order like the town's paying you to do. <laughs> oh, Fatty! Where you been, Fatty? <laughs> now, aren't you going to arrest him, Sam? Look at that. You can see he's drunk and he's disorderly. <laughs> Howdy, Marshal. I'm no Marshal. <laughs> Come on, get him out of here, Saban. Tame the town. You tell him, Marshal. <laughs> Hey, you! Get behind that bar, you! Hey, Freddy! That's a good shooting. He's not a lawman. Hey, come on, Saban. Now, keep order. You too, my dear. Come on, now, yeah. Come on, Freddy. Get more straighten up there. Come on, you little fatty. Look! You're making me behave like a lawman. Oh, go, come on. Oh, 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 When is this, Sion? Morning. You traveling far? Iron Town. You going far? Well, not too far. Purgatory. <laughs> yeah, it's your nice day to be traveling on a trail. Nice day to be alive. Snort? Uh, gracias, no. The drink during the daytime makes me sleepy. Today I like to stay awake and bright. Hola, Dios, amigo. So long. Come on in. 
What is this, Senor? Well, Quijano, come on in. Is that my invitation, Senor? Thousand dollars. Wait. Now, you sure you can handle this? I didn't write this far, Senor, to tell you no. <laughs> All right. Well, you better wait until tonight. Saban comes in here every evening. Senor, the sign across the front of the town, I don't read English. What does it say? Well, that sign says, when you ride into purgatory, say goodbye to God. Hasta la vista, Dios. What did you say? This may be my unlucky day. I, I lose something. Well, what'd you lose? A silver cross and chain. Oh, say, that's uh, too bad, Keith, huh? Sorry. Marshal Becker's dead. Well, I guess that takes care of getting any legal action against Hogue. We'll have to handle this ourselves. What do you mean, we? I ain't no deputy. Oil for the door hinges. Hey, Elmer. Hey, fella could get a little oil? To Babylon. I ain't welcome over there. Let's see if we can have the nugget. Come on, Lee. I'm Mary Hogue. I'd like to talk to you. You, his wife? But you're so beautiful. I want you to leave. I'll give you the money. Take it and go. You think I kill a man only for the money, senor? Then why did you come here? Once I was filled with pride. A man beat me like I was a dog. To him, I was the scum of the earth. He was what you call a town tamer. Well, you have nothing against Sabin. I never hear this Sabin. But I still hear the song of the whip. Mexican too, senor. Oh. Send him home. Or it's too late. Three, Johnny Nako. That's Johnny Nako's game. Tending to be lazy and careless and slow.
want bed and board for the night? Sure. Part of purgatory? Irontown comes first. Number four, Farmer Brown, they called him. He used to gamble down on Larimer Street in Denver. Never carried a gun, never needed one. Until one day, a young punk shot him in the face. He became a killer, a fast one. Toll for the bed and board. Dollar. Looks like you got a customer for your blacksmith shop. Yeah, horny looking critter, ain't he? Looks like he's throwing a shoe. I mean the rider. I hear you're a fast gun, mister. Who's he? Zody Dawes. I guess I'll be moving out. Go ahead, move. Well, now look, Zody. I have to work for my living. Don't give me no time to be a fast gun, does it? I guess not. Now look, I'm in a hurry. I've got to get to purgatory. If you're so fast, you'll get there on time, won't you? Don't you answer people? Now look, Zody. Call me mister. Sure, mister. Can you beat it, stranger? Why not show the stranger how fast you are? Now look, mister. I've got to get going. I'm late already. I'm an awful slowpoke. I'm overdue in purgatory, mister. Now look, please. Throw the shoe. Fix it. Oh, howdy, Fanny. Uh, is uh, Saban around? He'll be back pretty quick. You want to say something to me? No. I hope for the deputy here. Sometimes when the going ain't rough. <laughs> Tell me, Dipper, what have you been able to find out about him? Oh, not much. Is he married? Marshall? No, Fanny, not him. W what's his first name? Tom. Where is he from? I don't know. Well, don't you know where he is now? He sure asked a lot of questions. He just left here about a minute ago. Went down the street. Should be back any minute. <laughs> Oh, there he comes, isn't he? <laughs> oh. Hinge, sure set my remaining teeth on edge. I told him I could get some oil and oil in. <laughs> You're certainly fixing things up around here, Mr. Saban. Well, uh, 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 Dipper wanted to build a new gun rack and a few odds and ends. Oh, he's gonna put some shelves over here. And, oh yeah, we got a... New chandelier, imported all the way from Perkins General Store. Now, you might tell your husband, he likes to import things. Genuine steel from Pittsburgh. Oh, yeah, and we had the blacksmith make us some new bunks. The old ones were falling apart. And we're going to put a petition right through here, in case the town ever gets a marshal, in case a marshal ever catches a woman who deserves free room and board. Came to 
tell me to leave town. Are you staying just for the money? Not now. You stood up to Keanu. Maybe you can face the others who will come to kill you. But you'll be destroyed by a man without a gun. A man you can't shoot. Because he can't stand up to you in the only kind of fight you understand. A gun fight. When he broke his back, he beat every fast gun in this country. He's a cripple, Satan. And such a man could hold a pass against you. Why can't you break through the pass? Call it loyalty. Then you're in it, too. For better or for worse. I'll tell you something about a man that lives by the gun. He'll never have a happy woman. Keanu didn't get you, but someone will. Your woman, whoever she may be, will never know if you're coming home at night. You don't sound like a woman pleading for a man. I'm not. I have no woman to plead for me. Then you're going through with it. Till death do us part. When he comes out, get that chip off your shoulder. They call him Farmer Brown, but he's a fast gun. I mean it. Farmer Brown, he better stick to plowing. Wonder why our buddy's head in the purgatory. That gunfighter, Keanu. Now the farmer. Get him. Hey, Marshal. She wants to see you, Marshal. You know you're going to get yourself into a peck of trouble going around calling people names like Marshal and Fanny. <laughs> Who wants to see me? A cute little Fanny, Miss Hogue. Ask if you'd be walking down the street with the general store there at 10 o'clock sharp. Said she'd be waiting for you. <laughs> See if you're not hit enough to fall for a trap like that. <laughs> what time did she say? Well, if you're fool enough to get your head blown off, you better get started. Thanks, Dipper. Here's to your health, Marshal. Care to walk a bit? You know, Saban, last night with Keanu, you were about a half second from death. A half a second can be a long time. Where are we headed? You'll see. How did you get started in this business of yours? With a marriage certificate. Sorry. How'd you get started in your present business? With a gun. Sorry. You know, we keep a gun behind the bar. I'm pretty good with it. I could have grabbed it last night to help you against Keanu, but I wouldn't. I never rely on women protecting me. I'm just trying to explain that I won't betray Hogue, even if it means your life. Would you help him get me? No. I'm Hogue's wife. I'm going to stay his wife. But I like you. I'd like to think that you're somewhere alive and whole. Do you understand me? We'll see if I do.
Did you hear something? Uh, I'm not sure. Why did you come for a walk with me if you were so suspicious? Did you ever hear of a lady named Salome? The girl that wanted John the Baptist? The same. And she couldn't have him. She demanded his head on a silver platter. Did she get it? Well, did she? Mm-hmm. You're damn right she did. out of this and quit staring at me that way. You're not the law, and I'm no gunfighter. Gunfighter, you won't be needing this. I don't think so. But my hand and my arm have been giving me trouble. Might come from these bullet cuts you got in your arm. Better exercise it. Or it might come from the cold night air. I saw you last night heading out toward the rock with Mrs. Hope. Are you old reprobate, Marshal? So you took her out to the rock. Oh, what about the rock? That's the wishing rock. Wishing rock. Dipper, aren't you getting a little old for wishing? Well, you never get too old to wish, Doc. What do you want? I came to plead with you. But I've changed my mind.
Where's Hogue? He's in his office. your town tamer in a poker game. Yeah, why? Do it. Yes, I could. Uh... There's a way of shooting a man under a card table. He never knows what hit him. I heard you were so fast you didn't need any tricks. I am. But you doubled your offer to be sure. I'm going to be sure, too. <laughs> You know the farmer's in town. Why do you have to do it? I don't like the idea of lying in bed at night, expecting to get it through the window or in the back, or every time I turn the corner. We can sleep out on the prairies. Look, Marshal. Say, you're no Marshal. You don't have to do it. You going over there? Win or lose. Just a minute. I got something for you. Why don't you learn how to spell resignation? Well, I can spell quit. That's my resignation, whether I can spell it or not. Come on me. Come on me. <laughs> Somebody die? Called himself Farmer Brown. Gambler. Seems he got caught bluffing. Too bad. Upsetting you? Huh? No, it's good to see you, Johnny. Why don't you join me, honey? <laughs> You're still the same old Johnny, huh? How do I repay you for your kindness? He's the local town tamer. You shortchanging me? This will buy me a new bedspread, yeah. I know. Import it. Ah, uh, let's get this thing over with. You gonna count that money? I don't count. It's 3,000. I get a raise and I don't even have to ask for it. You got a comb? Yeah, on the dresser. Listen, Johnny, you're gonna do this the easy way, aren't you? My way is the easy way. Face to face. Well, why not get the drop on him? 
I get the drop on him after the play starts. I'm faster. He made Keanu look slow. Keanu was slow. Farmer got him in a poker game, had a gun on him. How do we get the Tom Tamer to come in? Oh, don't worry, he'll be in. The good people of the town are seeing to that. Tell Jack this stuff just arrived. Is that the new town tamer? Yeah. Guess he ain't got long to go. Johnny Nacol's in town. Johnny Nacol's in town. Where? The Babylon. Thanks, Doc. Saving? Yeah. Can I leave my wagon here a while? Sure. Now he'll be in here soon. Word's gonna spread that you're here. Well, if you want to go through my office, it's a shortcut to the saloon. Thanks. Well, you must be imported too. Meet me somewhere? Where? At the church. Now, you don't look like no churchgoer to me. It's not really a church. Anyway, it's out of business. Besides, it ain't Sunday. Who are you? I'm Hogue's wife. Call me Mary. And him a cripple. I'm not. Got work to do. Don't be a dull boy, Johnny. I've got to shoot a man. And if I go to church with you, that man's life might be saved. Is that it? Have it any way you want. Later. Gentlemen will step back away from the bar. Me and another gent's got some business. Tom Tamer's coming in. We didn't give him no beds. So that's not enough. I'm not sure what my price is now. Oh, now, wait a minute, Johnny. And I'll kill the man. But it's going to be more difficult than I figured. Why? And a little more expensive than you figured. I said, why? He's my brother. <laughs> Why 
husband tell me his name. Now I'm asked to draw down on my own brother. Your brother? That's Tom. Why are you going to? Yeah, I am. How long since you've been in church? You're gonna preach to me? I could try. I'll see you in church. decides what his price is going to be. I wonder if this is still a church. Something you've got to feel for yourself. No services? No preacher? Nothing. Just an old building for the rats. And us mice. Tell me something about you and your brother when you were kids. Just the usual stuff. Wasn't there uh, something of special interest? Yeah. I got caught in the river's undertow once. He pulled me out. I guess you might say he saved my life. Doesn't that mean anything to you? No, I like kissing girls better than talking to them. Why do you um, have different names if you're brothers? Well, once there was a man named Casavetes. Casavetes gave us a lot of trouble. One of us killed him. The other one took the blame. Who killed him? Never mind, you uh, needn't answer that. No, I needn't say which is which. Anyway, we drifted apart, me and my long, tall brother. I took the name Johnny Nico. Oh, you think mouths are just for talking or something? Every time I was ever in church before, there was a collection taken up. Sure. What's the collection this time? Saban's life. All right. I'll just run him out of town. If Hogue will still pay off. I promise he will. All right, you get the town tamer to come into the saloon. I'll be in the poker game. Johnny. Sit down. I'm in love with your brother. Well, nothing will come of it. I'll stay married, but I do love him. Why tell me? Is this where you confess or something? No, it's the um, sinner's bench. Good figures. <sighs> you get yourself in a mess like this? And how are you going to get out of it? i tell you how you're going to get out of it. See that clock? Well, you be gone by 6 o'clock. That'll give you uh, just 55 minutes to get out of here, won't it? You mean it, too? I mean it. You sure made him run for it, didn't you? something. 
not dealing with your mouth shut. That would win me a substantial sum by six o'clock. Enough to pay for a funeral? Whose funeral? Yours, maybe. You a friend of Saban, Sonny? Look, mister, you, you better call him Zodi. Give me two cars. What are you gonna do, town tamer? We could make you marshal. Anyhow, it's up to you to act. I want Hogan jail. Johnny Nyko might have something to say about that. What about it, Saban? You know, if I was sure that I was gonna win, I'd bring out some champagne I've been saving imported from Paris. Fetch the bartender. Now, Johnny, you're not doing so good. Well, there's days when it's all feathers and no chicken. Right, Sonny? Just calm down, Zodi. Wouldn't want to see you without your head. <laughs> He's a clown, ain't he? That's a good one. A poker player without no head. You want to see me? <laughs> yeah. Champagne for Mr. Hogue. Yeah? I got the oil, Marshal. We're gonna have things fixed up real good around here. Roof over heads. Jailhouse we can be proud of and sleep in without nobody locking us in. Marshal? You, you can't leave now. We got things too good here. All right, where is it? Where's what? You know, my gun. Now, now I'm just a kind of a no good nobody that could get away with shooting a cripple. You... Thanks, Dipper. You're a good deputy. Hey, Fanny, the marshal's gonna leave town. He's gotta run. Tom. Tom, I love you. But I'll stand by Hogue like I always have. I'm his wife. If you say you're his wife and you're true to him, you are his wife. And if you keep things right, then you're the marshal. I'm no marshal. I'm no wife. Send a boy where you should have sent a man. Three jacks. Tell him where you got it, Sonny. First good pot I took in. Hope the kid didn't get too sore. Do something for me. I want you to say your prayers. Then I'm going to kill you.
Marshal. Yeah. He's going to run, run, coward. Stay in the car. Craig and Murray, the first town that ever tamed a town tamer. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Saban, run for the sun. Saban's afraid. Coward. Yeah. I say, let's make him give our money back. Yeah. Yeah. I can't. I already said it to the Captain Davis woman. Get a wheel on you in the heart. It's a good thing. Go on, get on your horse. Get on your horse. Get on out of town. She was in his office room. I always thought she was true to hope. <laughs> to you, Johnny Nico, you, you, you made him run like a yellow dog, huh? You paid me enough to kill him. But not enough to make me do what I'm doing to him. Well, what is it you want, Johnny? Your life. Daddy! No! <laughs> it made me ashamed to see my brother ridiculed. Making him run like a dog. Pray over him. Come on, Mary. Put that cannon down. What's the matter, Mary? I set you free. I cut you free from the cripple. That's close enough. You can't miss from there. Bluff down, do you? You better get a good grip on that trigger, kid. Because I'm going to shoot you about three times before you can pull it. I'll take that bet. Mary! Put that gun down. It's ten minutes till six, Tom. Won't it ever stop? Must it be your own brother now? Once I stop, I'm dead. Can you stop? I thought I could. But when it came right down to it, I really couldn't. Guess it runs in the family. Well, it's a long time. Two ways, Johnny boy. See you in church.
out and far now. See that things are taken care of. Sure. Sure, Tom. Time's yours now, Saban. Yes. Say the word. You know you don't have to leave now. Stay, be the marshal. Sorry, Mary. Mr. Saban, the town wants you for marshal. Please, Tom. Remember, Mary? I could never have a happy woman. I'm heading for Tombstone. I'll see you there. It's wrong, Tom. So long, Marshal. This was in 73, a land of men with guns, some fast, others a little faster. One, the fastest gun of all.